Being in the middle doesn't mean average quality either. Can you tell me which of these came off an H2D and which came off an SV08? Probably not. Right, so enough philosophical nonsense, let's cut the bullshit and get into the hard factors rapid fire. Linear rails on all axes, a direct drive tool head with a nozzle probe, high flow hot end goes up to 300C. Below that sits a 350mm bed that goes up to 100C, with a total build volume of 350 by 350 by 345 The extruder contains a planetary gearbox that drives two hardened extruder gears and features an external filament runout sensor as well as a surprisingly bright LED for illuminating the work area. There's a camera for time lapses and print monitoring, and a basic screen and dial for adjustments, with a full web interface for more involved tinkering. It comes with profiles in Orca Slicer by default, and they're quite good for defaults. The machine is capable of extremely fast printing and makes absolutely no secret about that. 